Hello receiving students, ATs and the teachers. Thank you, take your seat. Receiving students and ATs, before we go on to our today's lesson, like I've said in a previous lesson, we did not correct one of our learning activities. So we will correct that before we go to our today's lesson. Okay? As you can see on the screen, that was the activity which we did not correct, receiving students in the 80s. Change the following decimals to fractions. So there are two decimals given there. A, 0 0.35 and B, 2.3. What change the following decimals to fractions? So those decimals, what would be the in fractions? 0.35 in fractions. Anybody got the answer? Receiving students in 80s, you can present your answer to your teachers. So. I would like you to go up to the front and write the ans what answer you have on the board receiving students. For the model class, anybody got the answer? Any answers? Okay, let's have uh, our friend there. One from A from that row there, so this, uh, who's the? Diane is gonna give us the answer for A, and one answer will come from the front row. Anybody? So Diane, please come up and write the answer for A. To A. Maybe we should have one also for B. Front row. Eddie? Eddie, you volunteering? Okay, Eddie would like to volunteer to write the answer. We can have one answer. Okay. Okay, receiving students in 80s, I hope you have given your answers on the board. Now let us look at what our two friends have given. A, 0 0.35 as fraction is 7 over 20. And B, 2.3 uh, 2 as fraction is 2 over 2 and 3 over 10. Eddie, is this 2 whole number? Okay. 2 and 3 over 10. Now, let us look at the answers. Class, do you agree with the answers? Are the answers correct? Who doesn't agree with the answer? Are all these answers correct? Yes. yes. Okay, let's confirm what I have on the board. We will confirm that answer with what I have. So, 
on the screen you can see the solution to question number two. Do we have 7 over 20 here? Okay. If you change 0 0.35 to, frac uh, to fraction, you get 35 over 100. And if you simplify that further down, you will get 7 over 20. 2.3 as fraction is 2 and 3 over 10. You cannot simplify 3 over 10 to simplest form. It is already in its simplest form. Okay, Eddie. This whole number looks like a fraction, a numerator of this. So please, if you're showing a whole number, it must be bigger like that. Okay? Receiving students in 80s. If you did not get these answers, please make correction to your answers. Now we will move on to our lesson. Our lesson topic for today, receiving students in 80s, is on converting between fractions and percentage. Our previous lesson, we looked at converting between fractions and decimals. In this lesson, we will look at fractions and percentage. How we can change fraction to percentage and percentage to fractions. What to achieve in this lesson? Understand the relationship between the fractions and percentage. And know the method on how to convert between fractions and percentage. Or how to change between fractions and percentage. Now receiving students, I would like to give, show you a question which is on the screen. What do you think? Is 3 over 10 the same as 30%? That's the question. What do you think? Is 3 over 10 the same as 30%? Receiving students in 80s. Raise your hands up if you think that 3 over 10 is the same as 30%. Good. Receiving students in 80s. If you think that 3 over 10 is not the same as 30%, please raise your hands up. Good. Now, we will confirm this, whether 3 over 10 is the same as 30% by using the fraction word. Receiving students in 80s, we are going to use this fraction word here to prove that 3 over 10 is the same as 30%. Now, in our previous lesson, we said that 3 over 10 is this line okay from the fraction one you remember our lesson on converting between fractions and decimal yes. so this line here is 3 over 10. now can someone come up and show me or can you identify where 30 percent is this scale here is the hundred percent uh the percentage scale from zero up to 100%. So this is the percentage scale and this is the fraction wall. Now we are trying to prove whether three over 10 is the same as 30%. So can I have one person to come up to the board receiving students? We will have one of our model students to come up to the board and identify where 30% is. Let's have our friend here, Habi. Habi, can you point please? Please paste. Point again. Where's thirty percent? Okay, thank you, class. This is what. Uh, this is where Habi pointed. Is he correct? Yes. Is this thirty percent? Yes. yes. This is thirty percent. Now, are they the same? Let's prove it. We will prove it by using the strip of paper here. So that is 3 over, from here to here is 3 over 10.
the next strip of paper here. Is this strip of paper the same as this? Okay, they are of the same length or same size. Now, I will try to place it where the 30% is. From here to here is where is 30%. From here to here, 30%. So, Is 3 over 10 the same as 30%? Yes. Okay. Now you can see the relationship between fraction and decimal. So 3 over 10 is not different from 30%. Now, class, I have also another one, another problem, which I want you to do. What is 3 over 5 or 3 fifths as percentage? Can you work out that in your groups receiving students in the 80s? Calculate how you can change this 3 over 5 or 3 fifths as percentage. So what is 3 over 5 as percentage? Receiving students and uh, receiving teacher, please, can we encourage your students to discuss the answers in group? Receiving students in 80s, we will now check the answer. What is 3 fifths as percentage? Can I have volunteers, any volunteer to give me the answer? Okay. I will have uh, Graham. Sixty percent. Good, very good. Can you show us how you got that sixty percent? Can you give us the calculation on how you got that sixty percent, Graham, on the board? Let's uh, see what Graham is going to show us how he got that sixty percent for his answer.
Can you explain to your friends how you got 60%? I times 350 times 100. Uh-huh. 5. So 5 I Times three fifth times hundred. And you got? I got. You I got sixty percent. Okay, thank you, uh, Graham. Let's give two claps for Graham. So, how Graham got sixty percent? He times three fifth, three fifth times one hundred and got 60%. So, we will try to use the fraction wall again to prove whether Graham's calculation is also correct. Is correct with the answer. So, Graham did the calculation. The fraction wall and the percentage scale will teach us or to, will prove us the answer is correct. Let's have our friend here. Please, can you come and identify where 350 is on the fraction wall? 350, this is fraction wall and this is percentage scale. So where is 350 on this fraction wall? Where? Okay. Class, our friend, points this area. Is he correct? Yes. Yes. This line is three fifth. Okay? So one fifth, two fifth, one fifth, two fifth, and three fifth. This one will be four fifth. So this is three fifth. Now, where is 60 percent on the scale? 60 percent on the scale? Let's have a 1 eta. 1 eta? Receiving students and 80s, is she correct? Yes. yes, this is 60 percent. Now I'm going to use this second strip of paper to measure whether 3 fifth is the same as 60 percent. So, are they of the same length? Yes. Yes. Okay. That is sixty percent. So receiving students in eighties, is Graham right with his answer? Yes. So you should know that three fifth as percentage is 60, 3 fifth as percentage is 60 percent, okay? Receiving students in 80s, when you want to mult uh, change fraction to percentage, you multiply by 100 percent. Multiply by 100 percent, okay? 100%, then you can do your further calculations. 3 over 5 times 100 over 1, which is equals to 300 
over 5, 100% over 1, which is equals to 300 over 1. Uh, sorry, 5 and 5 divided by 300 is 16. 16. So our answer is 60%. You can further simplify here when necessary. But you will come up to the same answer. Now receiving students, I've just shown you the method on how to change fraction to percentage. Multiply by 100%, 100%. Receiving students in 80s, we will move on to our second learning activity now we have tried how to change percent uh, fraction to percentage now how can you change percentage to fraction try changing 55 percent to a fraction Receiving students, you should be discussing to solve that problem in your groups. Receiving students and it is I'm giving you two minutes to quickly do that problem. Receiving students in 80s, we will try and now check the answer. What is 55% as fraction? Let's have our friend there. 55 over 100. 55 over 100. Please, can you come up to the front and uh, show your working out here?
can you explain how you got uh, 55 over 1 and all those? Can I have the maka? Just explain. Um, first, I changed um, 55 into a fraction, and then I multiplied it with one, 1 over 100 and got 55 over 100 and simplified it to, and got the answer, 11 over 20. Thank you. Let's give two big claps for our friend. Okay. 55% as fraction, 11 over 20, what your friend has given, 55 over 100, and then she further simplified to 11 over 20. Now, receiving students in 80s, when you are changing percentage to fraction, remove the sign of the percentage, and then divide by 100. So if you remove the percentage sign, it will be 55 over 100. Can you further simplify this? Yes. You only simplify where you, need, where you think that you can further simplify. If you don't simplify, if, if it's not possible for you to simplify, do not simplify. So what our friend has done, she simplified 55 over 100 by what number? Five. What is the common factor? Five. So if you divide 55 by five, you get 11. And then if you divide five, uh, 100 by five, you get 20. So 55 divided by five is 11. 100 divided by five is 20. So the method here to change percentage to fraction Remove the percentage sign and then divide by 100. So it is not that difficult to change percentage to fraction. Now receiving students in 80s, we will move to our uh, main activity for this lesson. We have two first learning activity there on the screen. I would like you to copy down the activity first quickly. So I'm giving you one minute. Express each of these uh, fractions as a percentage. and it is we will move to the next activity activity to express this percentage as a fraction we have a and b there receiving students and ladies I would like you to work in groups to complete the two learning activities there you have two minutes 
to complete the activity. I've given you two minutes, so you should be left with a minute remaining. A minute remaining. Receiving teacher. For the correction, we will only correct one uh, exercise only, and the rest, I would like you to uh, correct it at your own time with the students. So you collect the students' book and you can correct the correct their work. So for this lesson, we are going to correct only one activity, which is one A, one A. Seven into four hundred. Cannot okay. Seven into four. What is no, 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 it's not one day. It's fifty seven point fifty seven point seven decimal. Fifty seven point one four. Receiving students in 80s, we are going to uh, correct exercise A now. So those of you who have uh, not finished, we will have one of our friends who have finished his uh, work. He's got the answer to question uh, exercise A, uh, 1A. So we will have our friend to come up and give us his answer. What he has for exercise 1A.
right bigger, clear enough for everybody to see. and put a sign. Put a sign. Mm -hmm. So what is your answer? Can you write your answer? Uh, can you explain your answer? Uh, this is how I got my answer. Four or seven times one over uh, hundred over one equals four hundred seven. I divide seven into four hundred. Okay, seven seven into four cannot. So seven seven into forty goes five. Five times seven is thirty five. Okay, forty minus thirty five is five. Okay, I bring down zero. Seven into fifty goes seven. Seven times seven goes forty nine. Okay, fifty minus forty nine is one. So my answer is fifty seven point one four. Very good, let's give him two big claps. Receiving students like this. Receiving students in this. How, how many of you got this answer? Did any of you get, got the same answer? Okay, one. Okay, like I've said, when you multiply in decimal, uh, when you are changing fraction to decim uh, percentage, we multiply the fraction by 100%. So this answer here is rounded up to two decimal places. When you actually divide 400 by 7, there are other decimal numbers behind this. So our friend has rounded the answer to two decimal places. So the approximate answer for 4 over 7 as percentage is 57.14 percent so that is the answer now please when you are writing make sure you have your equal sign equal eh? everything must be the same you see this bar this bar is not straight so make it straight and you should also have the bar there and then the equal sign there So this one should be a bit down there. So our answer, 4 over 7 as percentage is 57.14%. That is the approximate answer. Receiving teacher, for the rest of the activities, like I've said in the earlier you must collect the books and then mark them at your own time to sum up this lesson receiving students in 80s when you want to change fraction to percentage we multiply by 100 percent And to change percentage to fraction, 
remove the percentage sign and divide by 100. Receiving, uh, receiving students and ATs, our key phrase for today's lesson is converting between fractions and percentage. Class, this has been us to the end of our lesson for today and thank you very much for your participation.